Hi, welcome back to Her Beauty Obsession. Today I'm doing a look with some Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. To get started, I'm using a discontinued tinted moisturizer from Chanel. It's part of the Le Beige line. I think you can still get this online on certain areas, but I heard it was discontinued. I happen to have a full tube, so I am gonna use it. I like to apply tinted moisturizers with the fingers, just warming it up on the skin. It really helps get that product in there for a really nice, natural looking base. Next, I'm using Tarte's under eye corrector in the color light medium, and I'm using a flat concealer brush and just pressing that into the skin in a triangular pattern underneath the eye. And prior to getting started with the eyeshadow palette, I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Potion Primer. Using the Rich Caramel Eye Palette, I'm dipping my brush into the first color cream and dusting that from lash line to brow bone. Using the same brush, I've dipped that into the next shade Rich Caramel and I'm placing that in a triangular shape on the outer corner of the eye. I'm making sure to take that from the outer lash line all the way up into the crease and I'm taking a clean blending brush and diffusing the inner portion because I want this to be a more gradient look with the intensity on the outer corner of the eye. I'm taking a flat shader brush MAC 239 and I've dipped that in the color Toasted Cinnamon. I've made sure to get enough pigment so that I could take that across both eyes and I've sprayed it with some Fix Plus just to give it a little bit more vibrancy. And I'm packing that on the mobile eyelid all the way from the lash line up into the crease. Because I lost some intensity in the crease, I've taken some more rich caramel and I placed that just above Toasted Cinnamon. Using the same brush, I wanted to make this a very simple look for you. I'm dipping that into Rich Caviar and I'm packing that on the outer mobile lid, not going very far up into the crease. And then I'm taking that clean blending brush again and just diffusing all of the edges. I'm dusting a little bit more of that cream shadow under the brow bone and then I'm taking a push liner brush. I've dipped that into Rich Caviar and I'm pressing that into the lash line. Before we do the lower portion of the eyelid, I'm using another concealer to brighten the area. This is Clarins Instant Concealer in the color Light. I'm using a fluffier brush to pack that on. Using a pencil brush, dip that in the color Rich Caramel, and I'm blending that from the outer corner all the way across the lower lash line to the inner corner. I'm also tight lining the upper lash line with a Rouge Bunny Rouge eyeliner and I'm trying out the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara. I like to apply mascara with the entire length of the wand on the outer portion of the eye and then I like to use the corner of the wand on the inner portion of the eyelashes. And this is the finished eye look. For the rest of the face, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Just to add a little bit of bronze to the face, I'm using an angled fluffy brush to put that under the cheekbone, and I'm also dragging that across the hairline up into the temple with medium pressure. I'm also using a pink lip gloss. I'll put in the description bar what this is because I can't remember off the top of my head. Finishing with Lower Geller Baked Blush in Catalina, I'm just dusting that on the apples of the cheek. This is the finished look. If you like tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.